feels different. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. What's she playing at? Maybe how is the question? the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell people? We were just playing. Emily and Jessie, who is here now? It was her. Delilah's life. She broke it. saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. How much of this is true, and how much is Delilah's warped imagination? Fifteen years ago, the Loyalist Conspiracy asked me to kidnap Anton Sokolov, and I did. I took him from his home to the pub we were hiding in, and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? He laughed at us. He told dirty stories, taught Emily more than her governess could in six months. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Even in the void, if only I could 
do more. Jessamine, Delilah's stronger now. Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? Of course not. She's driving all of this. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Corvo did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kovo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous. As obsessed with the occult as Delilah, apparently she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There'll be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. 
Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. and spindles made of zirconian umberwood. I thought the old Duke Theodanus outlawed umberwood export to protect the trees. I can't keep track of all the decrees. If you're looking My for clients trouble, refurbishing your gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunwall, I brought back a river crush show for you as an astro. Because it reminds me of good times. So what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visit? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. Today's your lucky day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Oh no, please! I have nothing! I'm just a poor maid! I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose?
Huh? of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The Overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Say that makes no sense. Anyway, I'm
of my Karnaka, brothers and sisters of my blood, and all the little people who make this great city. The Duke, the Duke. I must Duke. all know my voice, all know my voice by right now. A new Empress, a new Empress the sits on the throne in Dunbar. Our rightful ruler, Our rightful ruler. Delilah called the first of her name. First of her name. May she reign, may she reign forever. There are some traitors, traitors. Questions. Her claim to the her throne. throne. Morally. They want war, we'll give it to them. No matter how many of you I have. Exactly, I have sacrificed. will fight for Delilah. Fight for Delilah. To the bitter end. Check the place Let's just see. in case. Mm. What was it? Huh? Dunwall. I feel so bad. Um... Dice tonight. You win. Conservatory. Built around the time I left for Dunwall. She wanted to raise the blood briar, but cannot. After trying to make great. Because. 
once for weeks she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. That's just the way it is, dear Carmel. sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. Have a look.
that set of lenses could be switched with the lenses in the device. This could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. All that's left... Tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. Have you ever thought of Mung? I can make your ass. And then control your thoughts. To the public, I'll have to kill you. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton, three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The Overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions.
bottle of wood and I'd live a bottle of bear soda. I asked him to double the number of mine workers, and he did it. No questions, no complaints. Karnaka needed miners, and he produced them. Out of thin air! That's the Sarkonid spear. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now, but I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Whatever happened in Dunwall was a long time ago, Megan. I wish it felt like that. Seems like yesterday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. <laughs>